As I promised, uh, we're back with the RV uh, 7 1.1 meter, and I'm back with the uh, telling you from the first unboxing part. I took out all of these uh, Spectrum, uh, these are the A334 uh, 9 gram sub micro servos that control the elevator and uh, rudder in the back, and these things suck. Now, only one of them was bad, as you recall in the first video, and that was over here. But I got uh, Horizon sent me, I uh, have a contact there, and he sent me two new ones. And he sent me two upgrades, and these basically are the SPMSA 370, these are 9 gram digital metal gear servos, which are much, much better. And I put them in, placed them both because you know, okay guys now we got the servos all changed out and everything we already have it bound i set everything up on the uh nx8 what i really want to show you is about reverse thrust because this uh bird has reverse thrust but do not do not when you sit there and go into avionics to sit there and change the reverse thrust of this prop don't and hit any type of a throttle up or anything because that's what what's going to happen is that you're going to have to shut it back down and redo it it's kind of easy so the first thing that you want to do is once it's fired up you scroll over here until you take the scroll key you scroll over here until you sit there and see smart esc what you do is simply you take your stick here, stick and put it in full bottom left. Okay. And then just wait until it says step two, right there. Once it does step two, right stick, full bottom right. And that'll take you into the menu that will give you controls to sit there and change out all of the uh, uh, ESC parameters. So what you do is you sit there and take your stick, control down to a brake, and it says right there, I already have it set, brake reverse. If, you, if it wasn't saying that, brake reverse, you'll take the stick and then it's gonna toggle it over this way. It says disabled, normal, proportion, but we want reverse. We come down one more, we sit there and go down to brake force, and I have it set to seven. That's what you want. You want brake seven over there, okay? That's good. Come on down. You could change any of the parameters of the ESC if you want to, but we're just doing the reverse thrust. Keep coming, keep coming down. Just go slow. Now, reverse thrust is on channel seven. Channel seven is over here. Our throttle cut over here on H and G is gonna be channel seven. This is a three positioned uh, switch, okay? Brakes on. Brakes on. That means it's gonna sit there and reverse the thrust. Brakes off. Brakes off. That means it's gonna sit there and go proper, okay? That's normally how you want to do it. You don't want to sit there and uh, hit the brakes on when you're flying. And you do not want to sit there and make sure that you do not assign the uh, reverse thrust onto A over here, which is going to be your safety switch if you do assign safe select. You just sit there and come down over here and you sit there and scroll that like I sit there and hit that down to exit with save and everything is going and that is simply how you set up reverse thrust on this plane or any type of plane it's so simple wait until you sit there and have your telemetry all set up when you first plug it in then go in scroll over and then you will get it now we'll be able to show you how reverse thrust and everything works. Okay, we're gonna get a little demonstration here of the entire NX-8 and the setup that I did 
over here on the RV7. The switch to uh, A, and that gave me uh, safety on and off, if you'll sit there and listen. All right, I think I have safety on. Safety switch on. Safety switch on. And then on eight, we're going to uh, have the throttle. Make sure your throttle's down. And I signed uh, voices because I like voice. Throttle cut off. Throttle cut off. Throttle cut off. This is channel seven for the reverse thrust. Brakes on. It's a uh, three position switch. And up, brakes on means it's gonna reverse the props. Brakes off. Now they're gonna go right. The, the right the right way brakes on brakes off and f is high rates and low rates low rates high rates okay and then we have our flaps over here on d just want to give you a complete demonstration flaps are up take off flaps landing flaps take off flaps flaps up there you go nice and smooth they're looking good all centered Aileron, up and down, elevator, rudder, looking good. Now comes the thrust throttle. And we have to feel the wind. I feel the wind coming towards me. Okay, I'm going to do too much. All right. So when we land, and if we want to sit there and do a reverse there and hit this switch right here, this is a three position switch, and this is channel seven over here, and I'm gonna sit there and hit that right up. So brakes on. Brakes on, and we want to sit there and go reverse. As you'll see up there, is blowing on that little tree and that's going to give us reverse thrust okay guys that is awesome right there and that is <laughs> that's pretty nice to have the reverse thrust and you can do that on your uh your jets and everything whatsoever this is the beautiful vans rv7 nice little plane I hope that helps out about reverse thrust and how to set it up. It's going to look great. It's going to look nice when you're sitting there backing up. And this is Joe at Drone Man Productions. I salute. Thanks for watching. That's the servo change out with the new servos and reverse thrust setup. Have a great day. Any questions, comments? Let me know. I'll be right there for you. Thank you. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.